Hey guys, Coach Ben here, and I'm going to take you inside a dynamic effort upper day. So we're getting some benching in here with chains. We have about 100 pounds of chains on that bar. And you can see how I set these chains up. Uh, very important, especially if you have a short range of motion like I do. You're going to want to bunch these chains up. We have a video on our YouTube on how to bunch these chains up. All right, so you basically double them over and clip the middle and then you want a leader chain to hang them a bit lower off your bar doing so is going to allow for a bigger deload instead of just having a bunch of chain attached to the bar but then only a little bit of it deloading so real important how we set that up what i'm focusing on here just speed from point a to point b as quick as possible again doing a five by five i really like the five by five variant of speed work really allows you to, uh, well, it makes you, it forces you to focus on bringing intensity to the technique as well as moving quickly. So when I get this bar out, I'm always steadying the bar. I'm really taking my time, being patient there, making sure that bar is set in my lats correctly. And then I'm trying to fire through. And I'm trying to keep as precise a bar path as possible. It's very uh, difficult when you're moving this quick, but we're trying to keep a perfect bar path every single time. And chains are more difficult than bands, I'd say, in terms of precision with the bar. Uh, bands are difficult in their own right, but you're able to be much more precise with the bar path um, versus chains. They're going to move around a lot on you. Uh, always make sure you have some chain touching the ground, too, just for some extra stability. Now, I am doing these touch and go. I will have our athletes bench speed work touch and go, We're working on that reversal strength. But I will say, do not bounce off your chest. We don't want to turn this into a bounce house. All right, we want to make sure it's still a strict touch. We're able to essentially stop the movement at any point in the range of motion. All right, we should have full control of that bar. And see, as uh, we complete the 5x5 five five here for speed work, I go into some jm presses for the triceps all right so after benching i like to hit the triceps and lats with heavy emphasis all right this is something that i'll do with our athletes we're always going to hit back work we're always going to hit tricep work especially equipped lifters those are real key areas raw lifters we're going to introduce more shoulder work um, than we would for our equipped lifters since the shoulders are going to play a little bit of a larger role um, when you're doing raw lifting you see with the JM press here, um, just trying to dip the elbows under the bar, not going full range with it, staying within my comfort zone. A lot of emphasis placed on the triceps here. This is a great movement. You can vary where you aim that bar. So I could come up towards my chin more. Right now I'm staying more upper chest. They're going to be a little bit of an easier variant. As you aim for a higher point on your body if you aim for your chin your nose your eyes you are going to turn this into a little bit more of a skull crusher it's going to have a higher emphasis on the triceps but this is a nice blend between what i say is a close grip bench and a skull crusher we're finding that nice balance point so jam press here very rewarding movement just have to make sure your wrists don't get be uh, get bent back here see i got my elbow sleeves on from bigbenches.com love these elbow sleeves they're tapered so it's a nice fit comfortable throughout after that we get to a little landmine pressing now i've been dealing with a bit of a shoulder issue for a large part of the year so it has made raw benching pretty uncomfortable and I've had to kind of uh, work around certain movements. But this is one of those movements where uh, and it's, you don't require a lot of range of motion overhead. And you can perform these um, pretty friendly on the shoulder. All right, so I'm pressing out in front of myself a bit more than I am overhead. And it's going to have a large demand on core stability, something I also need to work on as I'm transitioning into um, uh, prepping for a full power meet again. So it's a best of both worlds type exercise, right? A little bit friendly on the shoulders. I'm able to train my core stability. You can see here going to some lat pull downs. And we're, like I said, always hitting the back. Hitting the back is going to be very important. Whether you're raw lifter or quick lifter, that is your control. All right, Everything comes from the back. Strength comes from the back. 
Plus, you need to make sure you're balanced out so you don't um, breed injury. And are very important to have a strong back in all scenarios. They're doing some pull downs here. You know, we'll switch it up between rows, pull downs. And we didn't film, there were some other accessories as well, but I just filmed these for you. Uh, just to give you an inside look at some of the stuff that I'm doing after the main benching. But taking a semi-wide grip, uh, you know, I'm not going the whole thing of the bar, but I am uh, trying to switch up my grips on purpose here. So you can see here, going with the underhand grip, this is great because supination is something that's often lacking. Um, that range of motion is often lacking for a bench presser where we're stuck in uh, pronation all the time. So getting any drills in with underhand grip is awesome. You see full protraction, retract the scaps, pull the bar in. So there you have it. Great dynamic effort bench session. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here. And then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.